Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today in this video, I am going to see about MHC molecules, major histocompatibility complexes. Uh, students who are studying with the subject immunology might know this question. And in this video, I only say the sentences which I already written. So let's get started. So coming to the introduction. Major histocompatibility complex is a set of surface proteins located on the cell membrane of nucleated cells and is responsible for antigen presentation and lymphocyte recognition. And it is abbreviated as MHC. MHC genes produce the MHC proteins called as MHC antigens. And here in this word, histo means tissues and compatibility means living together. As the MHC molecules are produced by genes, they are similar in genetically identical individuals. And the rejection of transplanted graft tissue between the genetically non-identical individuals is brought about by the MHC antigens. Hence, the MHC molecules are also called as transplantation antigens. MHC molecules were first discovered on the surface of human leukocytes WBC which are white blood cells and they are called as HLA human leukocyte antigens MHC molecules are classified into four classes class 1 MHC molecules class 2 MHC molecules class 3 MHC molecules and class 4 MHC molecules and class 1 MHC molecules are present on all nucleated cells and class 2 MHC molecules are present on antigen presenting cells and B cells. Coming to the structure of MHC molecules, here you can see the structure of MHC molecules on the surface of a cell and the square shaped MHC molecules refers to the class 1 and the curved shaped molecules refers to the class 2 MHC molecules and inside it has a nucleus and proteins of the cell. And the main role of MHC molecules is to bind with the peptide fragment of and to present it on the surface. The MHC molecules role is to present the antigens entering into our body on the surface of the cells. Coming to the functions of MHC molecules, it brings protection against cancer and it is responsible for the individual smell of the people and it brings about defense against infections and diseases. They expose the proteins present inside the cell and they help the immune cells to recognize the pathogens hidden inside the cell. And the MHC molecules bring about graft rejection. The peptides present on the MHC molecules are continuously watched by the T cells. Let us now discuss about the class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules. Class 1 MHC molecules and these molecules are a group of major histocompatibility antigens. They are present on the surface of all nucleated cells except nervous tissue and platelets. It binds with the endogenous antigens synthesized in a cell and it presents antigen to the TC cells. It brings about cell mediated immune response. And also it binds with the CD8 adhesion molecules of TC cells. So here you can see the structure of class 1 MHC molecule and the structure be like it consists of two polypeptide chains namely alpha chain and beta 2 microglobulin. Peptide loaded on the MHC in the endoplasmic reticulum and the peptides presented by class 1 are short. The alpha chain is heavier and the beta 2 chain is lighter. The alpha chain is formed of three globular domains namely alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 and the alpha 1, alpha 2 domains enclose a groove called peptide bonding groove or peptide binding cleft. The alpha 3 domain is transmembrane anchoring the class 1 MHC molecule to the cell membrane. The peptide being presented is held in the peptide binding groove according to the structure we can write all these points so the main the structure is important so coming to the functions of class 1 MHC molecules 
it displays intracellular proteins on the surface of cells for the recognition of tc cells a normal cell will display normal cellular peptides on its class 1 mhc the tc cells ignore these cells and the tc cell recognizes and kills the cell presenting foreign proteins this will activate nk cells to kill the infected cells and next coming to the class 2 mhc molecules these molecules are present on the surface of antigen presenting cells and b cells it binds with the exogenous antigens it present antigens to the th cells and it binds with the cd4 adhesion molecules of th cells it brings about humoral immune response and cell mediated immune response saying the structure of class 2 mhc molecule it consists of two polypeptide chains namely alpha and beta chains and each chain consists of two domains namely the alpha chain with alpha 1 and alpha 2 and the beta chain with beta 1 and beta 2 domains here you can see the structure of the class 2 mhc molecule and the alpha 2 and beta 2 are transmembrane domains anchoring the mhc to the plasma membrane and the alpha 1 and beta 1 domains bear a peptide binding group jointly the beta chain is shorter than the alpha chain and the two chains are non identical and non covalently associated and the antigen is processed inside the endosome so this is a small information about the mhc molecules its interaction structure and functions so i hope you might like this video and for more updates and videos please do subscribe and support my channel and even if you want the topics related to you please comment in the comment section and also i will provide all this information in the form of pdf so you can check here in the description below thank you for watching